everybody, it's Anthony Decker here, Decker Real Estate Group, out here getting things done as only Decker can, doing things in a timely manner. What we're going to talk about today is real estate contracts. So, in real estate, everything needs to be in writing, that way it's enforceable, that way all parties agree to something, there's not a um, misunderstanding between parties on uh, the terms or the price. Um, set forth. With that being said, in real estate contracts are kind of fluid. We have target dates that we try to hit. Uh, and most of the time we do hit them, you know, whether it be your inspections, your appraisals, uh, closing date, uh, all these things are targets and they're fluid. They can be moved up. If everybody agrees, if everybody would like to close sooner, you can definitely move it up. Uh, as long as the bank and everybody's okay with it or sometimes it has to be extended out um, through no nobody's fault. You know, life happens, people get sick, there's deaths in the family, there's disability. Maybe it's a, it's a two, um, two transaction domino where, you know, somebody is selling a house to buy a house and what's happening on their sell side is, isn't going as smooth as the buy side. So there's a lot of fluidity there that uh, all parties need to understand. We're gonna do our best to hit these target dates, but a lot of this is out of our control. You know, an inspector gets sick, it's holiday weekends, fall break, um, the banks are short staffed. Um, you know, I can, I can name a thousand things that's gonna delay the process, uh, and we push it along as much as we possibly can to hit that target date, because that is our, that was our goal, that's why we put that on paper. Is, is that is our target date. But when it comes to you, the client, as far as scheduling movers and disconnecting utilities and, and all this stuff, don't do any of that until your agent tells you it's okay, right? So if you've got movers scheduled for, uh, if you got movers scheduled and you're supposed to close, but for whatever unseen circumstance, the buyer can't close, You may be moving prematurely, right? You may not have a place to move to if you have a house to sell. And then the movers are gonna be mad because you scheduled them. And then you have to cancel, right? Um, or, you know, don't shut the utilities off until the day of closing. Give the buyers an opportunity to have those transferred over into their name. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe you have utilities set to shut off today, but closing gets pushed to next Friday. Well, in most cases, the, the buyers won't be able to get the utilities into their name until they own the property. So the property is going to sit there without utilities for a whole week. Uh, and most of the times, the buyers have to pay a reconnect fee. At, you know, it's hundreds of dollars. Um, the property is going to sit there, you know, whether heat or cold. You know, in the cold, you have to worry about, uh, you know, water lines water lines freezing, things of that nature in the hot. It gets musty, mildewy in there with no air moving around. Um, so you don't want that, right? So just keep that in mind. Real estate contracts are fluid. We do our best to hit the target dates, but some stuff is just without our control. We cannot help it. Um, so just keep that in mind. When you're buying or selling real estate, everything is a target date. As you move further along in the real estate process, those dates tend to firm up uh, because you, you're getting the obstacles out of the way, the home inspection, the appraisal, you know. Say for an example, you have a home inspection come back and it takes, uh, realistically, the, the seller should get back with you within three business days on an answer, but it may take them two weeks to get estimates because they can't get contractors out there. You know, that's not their fault that the contractors can't come out. Uh, so there needs to be leeway there. Um, and then with that being said, that may push the appraisal out. And then that may actually push the closing date out because that delays the bank. Because the bank can only go so far. And then once they hit that wall, um, you know, that, that's as far as they can go without your permission. So just I'll keep that in mind. If you have any questions about real estate contracts, about what you're getting into, give me a call, shoot me a text message. It's what I'm here to do. 270-256-3501. Thanks, guys.